first, I want to thank you because Microsoft has been one of the very first to help us put the web together, which is, uh, which is important. You've always been uh, behind us since the very, last, since the very first uh, event, so thank you very well, much. I'm very impressed with the event. You guys have done a great job. Oh, well, we'll see tomorrow about that. But <laughs> <laughs> so you, 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 you're in charge of uh, the platform, right? Talking about platforms of this phone. Yeah. For, yeah, you've got one. Good. Of course. Right on. <laughs> For the last uh, two years, I've been... Uh, Not only do I have one, but I even have my app on it. And I have, I have your app oh, on mine, good. too. Uh, for the last two years, I've been running the developer ecosystem effort, the app platform marketplace for Windows Phone 7, uh, which is uh, we started shipping about a month ago in, the, in markets around the world. And uh, uh, I'm a platform guy. Yeah. Uh, I've, most of my career at Microsoft, about 20 years now, I've focused on uh, either uh, developer platforms or on consumer products. So Great. So tell me about how many of those have you sold? How many phones? Yeah. I, <laughs> he, Loic told me he was going to ask this question multiple times. Um, and uh, I told him I wasn't going to answer it multiple times. Yeah, but I, I'll keep trying. <laughs> we, we, no, but seriously, how many? Well, like, he, like a here's, here's the way I think about it. We, when we launched the product about a month and a half ago, yeah, we absolutely knew how many we had sold, and we could talk about it at that time, and it was zero. Um, and well, you had a previous system. That's a new. But with yeah. Windows Phone 7, that's yeah. where we are. And you know, Windows Phone 7 represents a complete change from the past of Windows Mobile. The product is completely different. It's focused on a completely different customer segment. Oh, um, you're focusing on a customer segment? We're focusing on, well, we're focusing on people, which yeah. when we built the product before, it was uh, not necessarily focused on, on people. We, we pretty much built the product for mobile operators. Um, and one of the things we've done with Windows Phone 7 that is uh, significantly different is a focus on, uh, an extreme focus on end users and consumers who use their phone. So not business. Well, no, because consumers use their phones for both their personal lives and their business lives. Right. Like everybody in the audience probably has one phone, maybe more than one, but uh, you use your phone to manage both parts of your life. And that's what we built the product for. So absolutely, it's great at business stuff. It's also great at... And, at and your, so how many do you plan to sell in 2011? A lot. But so IDC is saying... <laughs> <laughs> IDC is saying 30 million. Uh, IDC can say what. what IDC is saying that. Yeah, that's great. You think it's? Great? I think it's great. We're 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 we have um, uh, ambitious long-term goals. Right. That doesn't tell me how much. No. And so, for as a developer, I have you know my app is in there, right? Yeah. I, I don't know how many downloads I get. When do you you don't want to give us that you know like a numbers and well we, we, act, we actually want to okay. uh, we we have not opened up our business intelligent aspects of our marketplace and we'll, we'll do that in the next month or so it's just something that isn't open yet what's your ambition then what do you want to be because you well, have you have you have a lot of platforms right there is, there, there is Nokia there's yeah. Blackberry there, and it depends on the region like Nokia is huge in Europe you know it's like uh, you're going after iPhone you're going after Android what, are you hoping to like, um, you know, like I don't know, be ahead of? Uh, I, I mean, what's your goal? You want to well, lead? Let me, let me tell a story because yes. I think I, I think our our goals are while they're long term, they're very ambitious. We also recognize that um, we're coming from behind. Um, you know, how many of you uh, remember the story of Aaron Ralstrom? He's the guy who was hiking in Utah. And he, it was about uh, 2003 or so, he fell and stumbled and a boulder rolled on his arm. How many remember that story? So, so Aaron laid there uh, for five days with his boulder on his arm. Um, when his water ran out, he, uh, he decided that you know, he was going to die. He realized that no one was going to discover him and find him. And so he made the, the choice to cut his own arm off with his pocket knife. And uh, he did that. He cut through his own arm after lying there alone for five days. He then climbed down that mountain, um, was, was found, rescued. And he, in order to climb down that mountain, he had to rappel down um, a 30-meter cliff with his arm cut off that he had just cut off. But he got down to the bottom, got rescued, and he um, went to the hospital. He's now, he now has a prosthetic arm. And he's climbing again. There's a movie that just came out about the whole story. His life is very different, but he survived. And he's got a, a great life. I tell the story because it actually... Yeah, why do you tell the story? It's a good analogy to, to where, we, where Microsoft came with, from with Windows Mobile. 
we were climbing the mountain of the smartphone marketplace for 10 years or so. Windows Mobile was a great product. Um, it was focused in particular areas, but it was a good product. And we stumbled. Microsoft stumbled. We failed to execute. And some competitors came along, iPhone and BlackBerry and Android. And they are the boulder that rolled on our arm. And we laid there. Microsoft laid there for a while going, oh, what are we going to do? How are we going to survive? Is someone going to rescue us? And no one did. Uh, so we decided we had to make some major changes in order to be competitive and to survive in this market. So that, that's your point of view. Now, how about the room and people watching us over the internet? Well, I, th um, I like, think... No, but if I'm a developer, yeah. why would I... Well, I care, right? But why would I care? Because you have so much... It's, it's, honestly, it's a nightmare. I mean, seriously, it's a nightmare. You have to code for Windows 7, you have to code for Nokia, for Android, for BlackBerry, for iPhone. You know, it's, like, it's horrible. Like, our lives are horrible. I understand. Well, one of the things that we've done with our developer platform was we've tried to make sure that it's very consistent across all phones. So if you're a developer and you build a Windows Phone application using our tools, um, you are assured that your application is going to run on win all Windows Phone handsets. The same way. The same way, without you having to test it on all of them. Um, and, That's true. And, that, and, and so avoiding that sort of fragment, fr platform fragmentation within our, at least our own home, we can do that and make that, that, that kind of promise. Um, we think that's, that's really compelling. We also, you know, we built the phone to be different. And one of the major changes we made as we, as we you know, cut our arm off and climbed down the mountain and, and, and realized that, yes, we are going to survive in this space, um, and now we have more mountains to climb, um, one of the major changes in this, in this focus on end user capability was a new UI. A user experience that is different. Um, yeah, I'll we encourage can't say people. You, it's like what's cool about it is you've not copied. I mean, you can it, yeah, feel it's it, different. It is definitely different. And everybody who's used it that I've talked to and, and who are pundits in the industry, the, the typical response is, wow, that's really good. Mm. This comes from Microsoft? Yeah. And, and so I, I'm going I, I, to encourage you. There's, 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 I noticed in the orange booth out there, there's it's actually a demo. like you mean they're surprised? They were expecting something not as good. Exactly. Like Microsoft does this, really? That's and, and we've got, you know, we've built some really, really great products. And Windows, Windows Phone 7 is, is one of those products. And the user experience is, is different and engaging. And it provides developers an opportunity to do something different as well. It's not the same okay, old thing. OK, so what else can I do different? Well, if you, do look, if you look at the types of applications games. that we you have. You have a lot of games, right? We have lots of games. The Xbox Live is built into the phone. But that's your own. Well, no, 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 no. It's third party. Oh, the market. Oh, oh absolutely. Okay. So uh, there's dozens right now of, of Xbox Live games. So is that a games. gaming phone? You're going after that? We think of it as kind of like the Xbox phone. Oh. I mean, it, it, it kind of is, because it has Xbox Live built into it. And the games that you can get are, are uh, really high quality, premium gaming experiences connected to that, that subservice. Uh, we have now about 3,500 applications in the marketplace. 3,500? Yeah, How much that's, do they that's make? a month after launch, um, which is pretty How impressive. many developers? Uh, the tools have been downloaded 750, 800,000 times, um, and we have about 15,000 registered developers in our marketplace program. Um, people have signed up to actually develop apps. Um, and and Silverlight is the and language. The, 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 we support both Silverlight development well, I said both. Three things. We support Silverlight as a, as a, a UI framework. We support XNA, which is a gaming platform for building you know, high-performance 3D games. It came from the Xbox. And we uh, support Java and HTML. Um, all of those are part of the platform. And Silverlight takes me to, to the desktop if yeah. I want. It takes me to where, where, does, where else does it take me? We support Silverlight on, on the PC, on other platforms. It's supported on the Mac. It's supported on um, tablets. Um, it's supported on tablets, absolutely. Oh, so if I code an app for this, I, I, can, I can get it to work on a tablet? Our strategy isn't a, we don't have a right once run anywhere strategy. A lot of, a lot of people have, in the past have thought that there was some dream of right once run anywhere. We actually don't believe that's, that's, that's real, realistic. What we do believe is that developers want to build their applications mostly once and then target them at individual, you know, different platforms. But the other part of it is most applications that are being built today are really powered by web services, the cloud. And so our application model for Windows Phone is really optimized for uh, enabling uh, cloud-based development and experiences that are powered by the cloud. And do you, so will you do your own phone? 
I don't like, think so. I think, I, I, I think our, our, our strategy is to focus on working with our device manufacturing partners uh, to enable a variety of hardware in the marketplace. We currently have nine different models of Windows phones available um, worldwide. Um, and they all have their own unique you know, characteristics. Um, and we think that users want that level of choice. Like some of them have slide out keyboards. Yep. Um, this is the one that that's I have, the, the Dell, one you have right? don't. Yeah, the this Dell is one of the HT's model, yep. HTC models, and that's a Samsung. Yep. The Dell and the LG both have uh, slide out keyboards. Yep. Uh, tablet? When um, do we get uh, Windows well, we're, we're, We have tablets today based on Windows 7. You can, you can uh, get Windows 7 based tablets today. Um, and uh, you know, we're always working on you know, what we're going to do next. In the, in the space of, of uh, pure slate like devices, we haven't really said what we're doing yet. We're kind of keeping that close to the chest. But you can tell us no one is uh, writing anything outside oh, of this sure. room. Oh, I'm sure. I see you know, Scoble over there. I'm, yeah, no, uh-uh. So uh, <laughs> tell me about the coolest apps you, you like the most on the... Seismic. No, well, thanks. <laughs> no, don't do this. I'm trying not to mix that. Please don't do this, actually. <laughs> That's uh, too easy even to, you know. Yeah, the, 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 uh, I do this thing where I tweet every day my, my personal app find of the day. Um, just this morning, I tweeted about a, a Windows Home Server app that connects to your home server in your house. Um, there's an app that, I, that I, I really enjoy using. It's called Cocktail Flow. And it's a, it's a drink app that helps you get recipes for drinks. It's a beautiful application um, that really comes to life on the phone. Um, if you want to grab me afterwards, I'm happy to show people a demo of it. Matter of fact, at 2 PM today, I'm doing a breakout session um, where I'll be uh, talking about the application platform, the developer tools, yeah. um, and so, so forth. You're doing a, so, so yeah, that, that was part of what we wanted to address is how can we connect with you here at the web? Yeah. Because uh, the web being a platform, so we can go to a workshop this afternoon. Yes, it's um, at 2 PM. It's in breakout session one. Um, I'm C Kindle on Twitter. C C K I N D E L. Okay. Um, not like the Amazon reader. It's an because E-L people complain they don't have contacts, so they yeah. should. And you know, and if you want to email me, uh, not very many people use email anymore. Um, <laughs> see Kindle at Microsoft.com. Okay. And what can we expect if we uh, if we start talking to you? You're gonna you know help us with development resources. You're gonna. I, I will I will point you at all of the resources we have. Um, I will hook you up with the right people on our teams who can help you if you're a startup and you want to get uh, 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 get onto the Windows Phone seven platform. I can hook you up with the people at Microsoft um, that run our programs for that. Um, if you have technical questions, um, if business questions, whatever, I'm, I'm more than happy to help. Where, where, talk to me about the future, just you know, before we before we. Well, going back to vision. this kind of the silly analogy of Aaron and his story and where we are, we feel like we're at a place where um, we're, now, we're now credible. And that was really our goal for this release, was to get it so that we were personally proud of the product we build. And we're, I'm now, I am absolutely proud of this. It's a great product. And it's credible. Most of the industry is looking at it and, the, and, and so forth and saying, wow, this is for real. It's still not, um, uh, you know, it's not the leader in the pack yet, but it's for real. And so we feel like we have a, a, a bunch of mountains yet to climb. And we now have kind of our feet underneath us. So the mountains you have to climb is, like we talked about the room but, uh, and, and people watching. But uh, like if I'm a customer now, mm -hmm. let's talk about the customer. I show up in... Uh, in, a, in an orange, for example, shop. And, um, and at orange, I get all those choices in front of me. Why, why would I buy this? Why would my mother buy, hi, <laughs> buy this? Well, She's watching. That's, that, that's a question about here and now. And I'll answer it real quickly just by saying um, the, our, the idea that we've, we've implemented in Windows Phone 7 is a model that allows people to kind of get into what they want to do in their mobile phone and then get out. It's really optimized for glance and go. And, uh, and the fact that it is a mobile phone, it's not a PC that's been crammed down into a four inch display. No, but um, you have like one euro phones. One euro, that's, uh, you know. Yeah, like you can buy, you can now get euro. on contract for one euro. Um, so that's, and that's, that's one that's reason. Good. But it's, a, you know, it's really the, the user experience and the, these integrated experience. It is the Xbox Live phone. It is a Zoom phone, so it has music and video built in. It's a great office phone. It supports Bing and the Bing decision engine in a very first class way. Uh, it has really deep Facebook and social networking integration with Windows Live. Um, and yeah, so, that's amazing. You start the phone and you, you don't, you don't put your Windows Live account, you put your Facebook, which I've, yeah. I've done. Yeah. And the phone syncs everything with Facebook. Are you not afraid of losing control? I was, honestly, I was expecting, 
I was expecting, you know, create your Windows Live account, and you know, well, and no, you just tick Facebook, boom. So you lost control, kind of, right? You, you I, I, I don't. Feel, we don't feel like we did. What we did is, and I started the conversation saying that we took this extreme focus on end users first, and so every decision we made in the product, we made with. Does this add value to the end user? Yep. And what that ended up doing is that a lot of these things that, that we used to do when we thought about product decisions that were strategic and, and we were you know, competitive and worried about what was going to happen next, those got pushed down in the priority order. And, and we did said, is this right for the end user? And if it is, let's do it. And Facebook integration is a great example of that's what people want. And, um, and so it's the right thing to do from that perspective. I think it's very exciting. Um, yeah, um, it's it's a it's a it's fun being in this place um, to have participated in in a project where um, we are the under underdog. How many people work on it? Uh, it's hard to really count because well, think about it. It's Office. Uh, it's oh, in the thousands and thousands because it's it's Office. It's the Xbox team and the Visual Studio team, our .NET team, Silverlight. Um, so it's you, you can't thousands. Well, I, I tell the story. So when How, I what's the budget? When, when I start yeah right. When I started what's the advertising uh, budget? <laughs> when oh, I started on. working You're doing on a lot this, of advertising. When I started working on this and I joined the team, I was given the the full SDK team for Windows Mobile, and it was one and a half people. I don't know how you, you, know, you calculate one and a half people, but that's the resources I had. When we launched the phone, basically 13 or 14 months later, we had hundreds of people working on just the developer tools and the application platform across Microsoft. OK. So, so lots ser of resources. Serious investment. If I'm an Android developer and I, I'm interested to port it, like, do, you, do you help? What do you do for me? We, we I don't do. Have a, if yeah, I have we some, do. no we, one who knows Silverlight or knows. We, we do, but I'll, here, I'll tell you a story. I had a, a developer uh, that had been building an application for Android. He, was, he had been building an application for six weeks. And he came to an event because we said we had phones available and developers could come play with them. Um, this was in, in, in August. And the developer came that afternoon to the event. And he showed us the app he had built in six hours. And it was already more functional than the one he'd been working on for six weeks. Um, and that's a testament to the productivity that the tools that we built provide. They're, they are by far the most productive developer tools for any mobile platform. Great. So go and see Charlie if you're interested in Windows Phone 7. And I, I think it's a very exciting platform. And we're really happy to have you with us. And you're staying, right? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, I am. Thank, Thank you, you so for much, inviting Charlie. Me. Thank right. you very bye much. Bye. Thank you, Charlie.